How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to examine the flow of the Jacquard DMP20 uh, Vortec clone today. Now, I'm going to take my time with this. So, if you want to brain rot on TikTok, go over there and do that. And don't get mad that this video takes longer than 90 seconds, okay? I want to actually do this right and show you guys what this pump is capable of. So, this is the DMP20 out of uh, four iterations that Jacquard slash Jabao has produced. So they've got the DMP-10, DMP-20, DMP-30, DMP-40. The 40 being the strongest, the 10 being the weakest. So I'll give you a look at the pump real quick, just so that you can see it. You can see my Nero 7 hanging on the outside over here. So this is the form factor of the DMP-20. There's the wet side. There's the dry side, okay? Now, I've been messing around with this thing the last couple hours, so the inhabitants of my tank are not especially happy. I've had like crazy flow things going on in here just because I'm, I'm testing out its capability from multiple angles and stuff like that. But uh, the only thing I've got going on right now, you can see that little trickle uh, up there in the uh, upper right corner, uh, is my return pump running at 10%. And so I, I don't like to cut that off. I don't want my sump to go stagnant. So uh, I've got that going. But as you can see, looking at the coral, there is essentially no movement across the coral. Things are just completely stable in place because, again, that return pump is not gigantic. Uh, it's Neptune Core 15, uh, and it's only running at 10%. So... All right, here's my plan. What I'm going to do here is I am going to use the uh, JCOD slash Jabao app that I've got the pump connected to, and I'm going to turn on the pump and just let you guys watch for like 10 to 20 seconds while the flow kind of courses through the tank. Because what I found is this DMP20, despite being the second smallest, has enough flow to move all of the coral in the tank on its own. All my other wave makers are completely shut off. So this is the pump at 100%, just so you're aware. Uh, here is the app interface. I'll give you guys a look real quick. Kind of a nice app. Kind of, it looks better than I anticipated. So I've got a couple other Jabal pumps uh, in the sump, so that's showing up. This is the DMP20. And you can do all your scheduling, and I'll have a separate video on the app. But for now, we're just going to turn it on. So watch the coral closely. We're on. You can see the flow is starting. You can see the surface tension uh, breaking. You can also hear maybe, maybe you can't because I've got a noise-canceling mic on, but water is getting pushed into the overflow pretty rapidly. All right, take a look at this coral. Got movement on the elegance. Good movement on this Duncan that's half angry at me for messing with the flow so much today. Good movement on this Duncan here. Got the rock flower nems rocking. You can see even down low, good flow. GSP's moving. Take a look at that. So, this pump is pushing enough flow that it's got all the coral moving in the tank, in a four foot long tank by two foot deep tank, uh, and a pre pretty tall tank. And this is like a 22 inch tall tank. So, one DMP20 is generating all of the flow that is making the coral move. Not, it's not moving rapidly. I don't have rapid flow in this tank regardless, but every coral in the tank is receiving water movement from this one pump. And you can see the surface here. I mean, it's definitely hitting it. Definitely got some good surface movement going on. All right. So what I want to show you guys is me from here is me dropping some pellet food into the uh, or into the wet side so that the pellets get shot out of the wet side and you can kind of get uh, a sense of how hard this thing can push 
and also what the what the general like tone of flow is doing so i mean i'm gonna definitely have to uh remove my filter socks later because i'm gonna put a lot of waste into the water but i think it's worth doing that to show you guys you know pellets being shot through the tank so let me move you a little closer let's get you right about there right there because these fish are going to go for the pellets you know how they are i can't just put the fish on pause so let me drop some pellets in here i'm going to hold the pellets down under the water and then slowly release them here we go all right pellets released So hopefully you guys were able to see the pellets come out. I know it's probably not the easiest thing to watch a bunch of pellets come out of this. We'll try it again. We'll try you a little bit closer here. Okay. Just a tad closer. Maybe we'll get some, uh, some better resolution on the pellets coming out of this thing. Pretty solid it uh, has shot pellets all the way down to the other side you can see pellets floating down <laughs> fish are chasing pellets all the way down look at that all the way down here so this pump can basically take pellet food and fire it the length of a four-foot tank that's what that's what this pump is capable of doing the pellets are slowing down by the time they reach the other side you just saw the fish grab one there the pellets are slowing down by the time they get over there. However, it is capable. The DMP-20 is capable of shooting those pellets all the way down to the other side. Now, I have a DMP-40 on the way, for the record. I went ahead and got one while, while they still have stock of them, because I, I have a feeling that, based on the chatter I'm hearing, there's more people who are interested in getting these pumps, or at least trying out some of the larger iterations, especially for bigger tanks, um, like the DMP-30, DMP-40. So I've got a 40 coming, and I'll be very curious to compare this thing to the DMP-40. Because this little guy, when I'm done with testing, this little guy is going to replace this Nero 5 and just live over here in the corner. And the DMP-40 is going to become my main driver. If this thing can push pellets from one side of the tank to the other with no problem, I'm very curious to see <laughs> just how much whole tank flow that DMP-40 can do. And I mean, I'm going to have to really work out how to get these pumps all into the proper alignment with regards to the flow intensity because that 40 is going to be really strong. This, this getting pellets to the other side of the tank was more than I expected out of it. And it does indicate to me a fairly narrow, quote unquote, cone. So it's hard for you guys to see. But when I look up close to the water and I see little micro bubbles and little bits of food floating around, I will say it does seem like the cone of flow is fairly narrow. It does not. It feels the same as uh, the same as the MP10 as far as the cone is concerned it doesn't it doesn't seem to me that it's got some some crazy wide flow to it uh like the nero has a pretty wide cone of flow that that's part of the reason i i like neros is that they have that wide cone of flow however they do have the the wire in the tank and they are, they do kind of suck to maintenance so in switching my pump slowly over to this more narrow you know pump architecture uh, it's going to be something to juggle, that narrower cone of flow, so to speak. But I, I'm going to go for it. Um, I'm absolutely going to go for it. There's a lot of benefits here to be had, I think. And I'm convinced the stability of the software, the excellent performance of the pump, um, and just the overall like strength of the pump, the quietness of the pump, I'm pretty sold. I think that, uh, I think that a lot of people will be. Um, 
So yeah, that's it. That's what I can give you as far as a demonstration on flow. I wish I had like a laboratory or whatever to, to really give you guys some kind of like crazy flow experiment, but me dropping pellets into it and showing you the movement of the coral and the water and everything like that with just the one pump active, that's what I'm capable of on this system. So I'm sorry that I don't have a better operation, but uh, that's what I've got for you. So if you guys have questions, you want me to run other floor flow experiments with it, you have ideas for me, I welcome it. But uh, there you go. DMP20, uh, Fortec clone, uh, pretty solid, pretty solid. All right, guys, take it easy.